Yo, what's going on guys, Viper here, and uh, today I'm bringing you a new tutorial on how to do this effect. It's a pretty cool effect, it's how to make these uh, sort of automatically climbing numbers. I'm not entirely sure what to call it, but that's pretty much it. Uh, just making these numbers uh, automatically climb, I guess. Um, I don't know, I haven't seen too much of this uh, being used, but um, I can see it being used in like multiple ways, from like heads-up displays, like motion tracking or anything like that. So uh, let's get started. First thing you want to do is add a new text layer and just make any random number doesn't actually matter what the number is right now because it's going to change itself anyway in like when you add the next effect as you'll see in a minute so what you want to do is just make any number just made a thousand here and search up the effect slider control and drag that onto your text layer now what you want to do is drop down your text layer and drop down effects and slider control then drop down text so we're going to be using an expression for this effect uh, so what you want to do is alt click on source text then get your little pick whip tool and drag that onto your slider control and should make this little expression right here. So what you can see now is we can animate this from zero, go all the way to the end, and let's say make this a thousand again. But what we'll have is these decimals. Now if you want the decimals, that's fine, but if you don't, uh, we can easily get rid of those. So I'm just gonna unanimate this and set it back to zero. So what you wanna do is just all, uh, not all click, just click on your little um, expression line here and go to the very start. Now what you wanna do is type in math round, math dot round. You wanna make sure that M is capital in math, because math, but a small m doesn't actually exist in After Effects as an expression. Some strange reasons. So just make a capital M, A T H, then dot, R O U N D. Then you want to open bracket, just regular bracket, not square bracket. Uh, then close your bracket. And then what we should get is the same thing if we animate this again. Zero, and then go all the way to the end and set this to a thousand. We should get no decimals. So how cool is that? So that's pretty much it, lads. Um, you can obviously mess around with these keyframes like. Say so when the easy ease days, uh, keyframe assistant easy ease. We can mess around in the graph editor or whatever, make it really smooth. Um, well that's pretty much it. You can mess around the keyframes yourself, uh, but that's pretty much the effect itself. Then so realize if you did enjoy the tutorial, do leave a like below. I'm almost at 700 subs right now, which is freaking crazy. So if you want to leave a like, help me get there faster. That would be epic. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.